Two by ones are one of the most commonly used bases, whether you're new to the game or a 5,000 hour veteran. At some point, you use a two by one. And the only problem with a two by one is they're prone to getting blown open with four rockets. That's why it gives me great pleasure to introduce my Rust console take on the Chad Cabin Bunker Base. Ideal for any solo, very easy to build with a higher visibility airlock. Plenty of storage space, when fully upgraded it can be 20 plus rockets to core. The rough build cost of this base will be on the screen currently. These are just rough figures so taken with a pinch of salt. Those figures depend on whether or not you fully upgrade your base. Obviously if you high core anything, high core costs will be added. Now let's jump right in and learn the build. You're going to need relatively flat ground to start this build off. Now that you've found your flat ground, place two square foundations and a triangle foundation coming off of that for the airlock. Then put half walls the entire way around this and full walls on top of that. Obviously, place your doorways in between this. And once you've done that, place your ceilings. Get some doors on there and start to upgrade to get this bit secure. At this point, this is just a starter base, so I'd advise not upgrading any of your doorways to stone. Leave them wood so you can knock them out and change into garage doors later. Once everything's upgraded, place your TC. It's important to get the placement correct so that you can fit boxes in this room later. Just copy me at these bits with a half wall and then some shelves either side of it. One's going to be for your workbench, the other one's going to be for sleeping bag and loot boxes will go underneath them. I always like to fill these little gaps in with furnaces so that saves on a lot of space. And as I said, place your workbench up on the shelf. And get some garage doors down. Now this is the reason you'd leave your door frames as wood. You'd now pick them out and make sure they're all garage doors when you're about to expand or after you've expanded. It's important to get your um, sleeping bag placement down as soon as possible. I then start to place all my boxes around but this is entirely up to you how you place them. I try to get every box placement perfect because then you can fit three small boxes in the TC room and you can fit four boxes in the room next to it but I decide to only have two and two more furnaces. It's totally optional how you set it out. Now do not, I repeat, do not place any drop boxes if you're planning on honeycombing this base. It's a big mistake, I've done it several times, place drop boxes and then I cannot honeycomb. As you'll see a bit later in the video. So if you are going to honeycomb, just don't do this step yet. You do this after the honeycomb. Finish off with any other boxes that you can fit in. And as I said, Two more furnaces down here, but you can choose to have boxes down here instead. Now, time for expanding. You're going to want two triangles coming off what you already have, and then one lower triangle and two higher foundations off of that. You're then going to want to place a little square foundation so that you can be able to jump up into your base. Do not lock yourself out. Wall this off and use half walls where your bunker will go. You're going to want window frames and shop front frames all around this front. This gives you the high visibility airlock. This comes in clutch against door campers, believe me, especially being solo. Now this bit's optional, but you're going to start to place your roof access. You do not have to have this roof access, it's something that I've tweaked and added into the build. And then once you've got everything down, we're going to start to upgrade all that to stone. Now 
then place down your shop front and your window bars. This bit's entirely optional as well, I just hate having to jump into the base. And a quick demonstration on how the bunker will work. Perfect, that's locked up tighter than your mum's knickers. When you feel you're at an ideal spot to upgrade to metal, upgrade everything to metal and get ready to do some honeycomb. I then also placed in my extra garage doors. Up on the roof now we're going to start to place our honeycomb. We're going to do this with half walls the entire way round to split off the sections to not be able to blow open with rockets. Once you've got your all placed start to upgrade that bitch. Now continue your honeycomb around the sides of the bases with triangle foundations and walls. Now you're going to see here in a minute where I've placed the drop boxes I cannot do any honeycomb. This was done on purpose to be able to show you exactly what I was talking about earlier. Continue all your honeycomb. Make sure everything's honeycombed off and then jump up top and put in your honeycomb roofs. Once you've finished off your honeycomb, the only real upgrading you can really do is upgrading your core to higher core. I love to do this. It makes it, it makes it not worth the raid really. Any amount of loot you have inside this core bit isn't going to be worth the amount they use to get into this base, especially being a little solo. Also run around placing any more final doors, ornaments, boxes, and just the necessities you may need in a base. Place down a locker, place down a barbecue. Everything from here on out is totally optional. All the decoration of this base is optional. You don't have to have drop boxes everywhere. You don't have to have furnaces everywhere. It's entirely up to you. This is just the way I chose to build my base. Just going to show you here, perfect little spot for your research bench or your repair bench. And as they don't take damage when you pick them back up, you can do this as many times as you want. That's basically the build over now. All the rest of the footage is just me decorating it how I see fit. Now that the entire build is finished, let's have a little tour of the base, completely finished. If you enjoyed this content, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even dropping a comment. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.